to ask you a couple questions I just want you to think about and answer to yourself. First, how many of you either own a pet now or have owned one in the past? How many of you are thinking about getting one in the future? If you have or are going to get one, are you going to have that pet neutered or spayed? Why or why not? Also, how many of you have been driving down the street or through a neighborhood and seen a stray animal looking for food or shelter? There are millions of dogs out there and cats right now that currently do not have homes. When we lived in Georgia, we were driving home from a soccer practice one time. On the side of the road was a white dog walking. He was so thin that you could literally see his bones. This is a story for a lot of animals here in the United States. By the end of this speech, I would like to convince you that the only responsible choice that you can make if you choose to adopt a pet is to have that pet spayed or neutered. I'm going to talk to you about the benefits to your pet, to your community, and to yourself. First is the benefit to your pet. It's your pet's health. If your pet is spayed or neutered, it will actually live longer, more than likely. It reduces your animal's desire to roam. It can eliminate the risk of certain forms of cancer. And for females, it can actually eliminate the risk of uterine infections and complications during pregnancies and during during the actual delivery. Next is the responsibility to your community. As I stated, there are millions of strays out there. There is currently no reporting system, but in 1997, the American Humane Association sent out a survey to approximately 3,500 shelters. A thousand of those shelters responded. 4.3 million animals pass through those shelters in a year. 64% of them are euthanized. Of that number, 56% are dogs and 71% are cats. By choosing to spay or move your pet, you can greatly reduce those numbers. Next is the responsibility to yourself. By having your pet spayed or neutered, you can actually end up with a better behaved pet. As I stated before, it can reduce their risk of roaming. For males, it can actually reduce or eliminate male aggression and their need for spraying or marking their territory. For a female, it reduces the mess of when they go and feed, along with the whining and crying that they make, and unwanted guests showing up at your back or front door. Gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> Overall, your pet will be happier and healthier if you make this choice for them. As I stated, and I just want to reiterate, there are millions of strays in the streets, in the shelters. We had a neighbor who had a male chihuahua adopted a female chihuahua and decided not to get either of them fixed. In her very first heat, she was only eight months old when she gave birth to her first litter of puppies. She was still a baby herself, having babies. And the cycle continued. They never got either of them spayed. That same neighbor also had a cat that they chose not to have spayed. She had a litter of kittens, which they then took to animal control. The only positive that came out of that is when she turned those kittens in, she was giving a certificate to actually have her cat spayed. Here is a diagram. For one unspayed female and her mate, if they produce offspring, they can produce up to two litters per year. And if those offspring have offspring, and figure a survival rate of 2.8 kittens per litter, which is actually really low. After nine years, that's 11,606,077 kittens that were produced. From one pair. That all started with one pair of kittens. One of the main reasons I hear for people not being their animal spayed is the cost of the spay. It is actually more expensive to have kittens or puppies. By the time you include food, usually if you're finding them a home, they want their first set of vaccinations done. And also the medical cost if something were to go wrong with your animal or one of those, one of those in the litter. There is an organization, a website, www.usaspay.org. That if you visit the website, you can put in your zip code. Once you put that zip code in, it gives you a list of low-cost spades, places to have your animal spayed in your area. Those of you who don't have a pet or aren't planning on having a pet may wonder how this affects you. Millions of tax dollars are used every year and sent to these shelters. It's used for food, some for medical care and vaccinations, but most of it is for the euthanization of these pets. 
and all of that money comes from taxes or the rare donations that they do actually get. This does not have to happen. I implore you that if you choose to adopt a pet, please have them spayed or neutered. If it's not something that you can afford, then either think about not doing it or adopt from a local shelter or rescue where the animal is already spayed or neutered. I'd like to end with a quote from Bob Barker. He ended every episode that I saw of The Price is Right with this. Help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job.